Oh, now you want to go? Yeah. No, yeah. Go. No. Six fifty-nine. Yeah. Right the screen. You ready? Yeah. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Remain standing as we remember those that we've lost since our last meeting. Robert A. Smith, Sr., Franklin E. Doolittle, Jr., Wayne Brown, Deanna J. Dupree, Louise Grace Mapes. Roll call. Mike? Here. Paul? Here. Bill? Here. And I'm here. And as you can see, our leader here is not with us. He's off enjoying a much needed rest. Oh, Tony's right there. <laughs> yes, Tony is here, keeping us all on our toes. Our fire exits are here and there. And if we have a fire, don't use the elevator. Um, do we have any correspondence, Jackie? Yep. Uh, uh, Bill, do you have um, do you have any concerns? Yeah, just for the record, as I explained to the board earlier, what had been known as local law number three of 2021, which was the marijuana opting out for the uh, consumption site, has been renumbered local law number two of 2022, filed with Albany, and then local law number four, which was the dispensary or sales locations mm -hmm. for cannabis. Number four of 2021 has been renumbered and refiled with opening as local law number three of 2022. Okay, thank you. This is a, at this time we have uh, opened the floor to petitioners. If you have something to talk to the board about, you can please come up to the podium and t state your name, and, and we'd be happy to listen to you. Okay, that's you. I thought Sam was going to be there. Oh, she was, but she had interviews and then she left. So oh, it's okay. okay. She knew you were coming. You'd hand it. Oh, okay. okay. Um, but, and you help me if I make a mistake. Yeah. Um, so I'm Becky Burke, and I'm here to ask. I, I, we have to, we would like to do a women's softball game once a month over at Burham Road, and we have the Burham Road Park reserved. And in order to do that, we need insurance. And so I spoke with Sam. And she thought that the Wabor Singh Youth Commission could offer their insurance for this event for us. Mm -hmm. And that's something that has to be approved by you guys. So we're going to be, like I said, this year just doing the first Tuesday of the month from June till um, October. Open it to women over the age of 18 who um, either live or work in Ellenville or Wabor Singh. Mm -hmm. And we think it's important because the, the men in this community have great, like tons of leagues and they're at their four nights a week and the kids all have their leagues and there's nothing for the moms, nothing for the, for the, you know, the women. So we'd like to start this year with this and then I'm hoping somebody else will run with it and actually develop a league. So this isn't like an official league. It's more of, you know, getting together. We're Pick going to, to look for about 25 women for two teams to play at 6 o'clock. And if we get this overwhelming response, we thought, okay, well, we could always do two games in a night mm -hmm. and start another game at like 8 o'clock. Although, do you guys have lights there? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, like yeah so we could if we got this overwhelming response. So that's the first question. Then the second question is, because we're not going to be like sponsored, um, at least we don't think we are, but we do need to raise some money to pay some um umpires and um, we'd like to we'd like to have some t-shirts maybe. So I was wondering if we could also do hello, um, like a little concession table where we get some volunteers from the high school to to sell some, water and um, snacks and stuff like that. And then that would be the money we could use to pay the umpires and to get some t-shirts. Well, that would be up to the village, it's village property. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. The second yeah. question would be the village. Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. Um, I spoke to to Dwight on behalf of the, because I knew you were coming tonight. Mm -hmm. and, and, and if the board is approves it, then you could be a writer on Sam's rec insurance without a problem okay okay so we just you know we vote on that tonight? um you could put it under your concern as a rep person 
but I don't see it on there. I did not see it on, it's not written on here, but you could you could put a motion on the table under your concerns. Would you like me to remind you to do that? Yes, <laughs> Make sure you write it up. You gotta Make write it up. You know, yeah. say you beat me to it. <laughs> All right. She has to write it up. She beat me to it. <laughs> okay, so you'll vote on it. The next meeting or later on in this Probably meeting? Probably at the end of this Probably meeting. Probably the end of this meeting. I should know. I'll, I'll stay and call you tomorrow. Is that okay? Okay, great. Okay. Yes, yes. No Thank problem. you so much. I appreciate it. Come to the come up and identify yourself and feel free to speak. Hello. Good evening, huh? My name is Robert Coons. I live out of Bromwich, Russell. And um I have two things. First of all, Tony, can you have your boys put the signs back up on the on the uh, on the Briggs Highway end of the Bromwoods Road? Somebody tore them down. Okay. They have this speed limit and the six thousand pound weight limit. Okay, I'll take a look at it. Okay. Okay. Now, we have a major problem on this road in the summertime because it has a six thousand pound weight limit on this, and uh, we've got. Uh, I've recently, I've had tractor trailers on there. I've got the 10 mil trucks. That, um, I've got, um, uh, yesterday I had a, a six wheel box truck on there. And they're all way above the, the uh, weight limit, like 30,000 pounds plus. And um, one of the things that happens in the summertime is, is, is the biggest problem is the camp buses because they speed. With all those kids in there, they're reckless. I mean, really reckless. And they go around the blind turn on the corner of my house 100% in the left lane. And I've seen a number of accidents there, right on that spot because nobody's paying attention to the laws. And um, sooner or later, somebody's gonna get killed. And we are requesting help. Because I have, I've had times out on that road where there was a car every second, literally. And you can't get out of your driveway. Yeah. You know? And in, in the past, if I come off of Briggs Highway and come up a Bromwich Road, I get to that turn, I've almost been hit on about 50 times. You know, because literally everybody's going around that turn in the left lane. And nobody is paying attention. And literally the police are no help. They won't even come up there. And we need some kind of help. Um, I was uh, wondering whether it'd be possible to block the road right in the center, just temporarily, just to keep the trucks out. You know, it'll make things a whole lot safer. Um, the alternative would be to put up posts on either end, right in the middle of the road, on either side, and just run a bar across and put it low enough that the trucks can't get through. And then all the, all the cars can go through. Yeah, we can't do that. No, I didn't road. think so, but I it's thought it would be a good one. <laughs> are, there some, are there more specific days and times when this is happening? Um, as far as the buses go, from the beginning of July, it starts and it's three, three times a day plus. And um, every day until camp closes. And uh, they're speeding, they're going around that turn blind turn uh, in the left lane. And I, and I watched one day a bus almost clobbered a minivan. And you've reported this to the state police yeah, or the state or the sheriff's patrol? Yeah, they just go, yeah, 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 you know. Mr. He's been into our meetings before and we brought us pictures last year. Tiny, is it a situation maybe if. Arrow signs, slow down signs, any kind of signs you can put up. I mean, I'm just. They don't pay no attention. Yeah, they won't. They, they won't listen to anybody. I'm just trying to think. I mean, if, if, the, if, the, if the police don't do anything, I, I don't know what else. Shortcut to camp. Yeah. To another camp. Oh, okay. And and the bus runs. The buses go through there. Even school buses. So, you know. Right. And we have literally had several accidents right on that blind turn, and I. I, I know one of them where this Hasidic man came along in a minivan and my mailboxes are 75 feet from that turn and he almost hit my mailboxes. And then he started to go around that turn and a man with a scooter came around it and the guy realized it, that he was going to get head on and he dumped the bike and went right under the minivan. And he only, fortunately for him, he only ended up with a little road rash and he didn't get seriously hurt. 
Uh, but you know, there have been many such incidents and we really need some kind of help before somebody gets killed. I'm going to do if the authorities won't do anything about it. Uh, no, you won't. We've been through that already. That, that's I don't know what else we can do. I think we need to talk to the state police and the sheriff's patrol. I have been doing that. And we need to. No, I think we need to. I think we need to. I think we need to. I asked him about that. She bumps. She bumps. They come out for the season, you know? Um, well, I've heard your frustration. I don't have any good answers for you at the moment. Obviously, we're all still following um, solutions, but. We can bring it up to the police. Send a note to the state, state police and tell them on a board. They came right out and said, we're not going to do anything about it. Well, we'll talk to them. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We'll talk to them. That's the best thing you do right now. But you're going to get the signs back up, right? Don't. Yeah, that's necessary. We need that. Yeah. Because the, last year they were pulling them out all over the place, and I kept telling Tony to have them put back up. I got 6,000 pounds signed in my room. Doesn't make it. Yeah, if if they we if we knew more specific days and or times that we can maybe request a, a state trooper or sheriff's patrol to, to come during those times. Try Sunday through Saturday. Okay. Uh, no, sorry, right. through Friday. Friday. Starting in July. July. The camps open. Okay. I I have a video I would like you to see. Uh, it, um, and with this video. I want you to not n notice the speed, but notice where he is in the road. Okay? Are you willing to look at it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. right, where there you are. Okay, one second. Just gotta get it set up. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's start over here. Yeah, he's on the left side. Of yeah, hundred yeah. percent in the left lane. Yeah. Right. Cut the corner. Right, and they, and all the buses do that. Every last one of them. Cut and, the corner. And this is very dangerous. I've got one been head on by the buses a whole mess at times. And, and so have all of my neighbors. Yeah. Okay. Did you see this? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Let's start here. Let's go back here. Yep, they're on the wrong side of the road, that's for sure. Every single time. You want to see it? No, I see it. Okay. I've been up there. Okay. So I just wanted you, to sh you all to see this video just to know what we're up against. We can't even come home without almost getting hit. So if you have any kind of uh, advice or, or some way to solve this, I'd really like to know. Because sooner or later somebody will die. That's, that's a fact. Thank you. Yep. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Okay. If you find out anything, let me know. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Anybody else? Anybody online that wants to speak to us? Okay. Put that one on the bottom. Don't know. Peggy so. Cannon. Okay. It's not um, moving. Is it froze? Or? Yeah. yeah. It's just a background picture. Yeah. Just a picture. The town board, by resolution, authorizes the town clerk to advertise for a public hearing to be held on Thursday, June 2nd at 7.05 p.m. in the town hall courtroom. The purpose of the public hearing is to receive input and comment from the public regarding the possible submission of a community, community development block grant application for 2022 program for the Carnoxon Sanitary Sewer Collection System Phase 2. It's a roll call. I'll make the motion. <laughs> uh, Motion first. Yep. Second. It's a roll call vote. Mike? Aye. Paul? Aye. Bill? Aye. And I. <clears throat> we don't have any budget modifications. Um, town board to approve the bills as audited. Motion. 
Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Town Board to extend the minutes of April 7th for the regular and audit meeting, April 13th for the budget workshop, April 21st for the regular and audit meeting, and April 25th for the workshop. So I'll move three through six. I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. Town Board to authorize the supervisor to execute an agreement between the Town of Awarsing and Linstar in the amount of $13,961.71 for installation of the video surveillance system at the Joseph Y. Resnick Airport. I'll make the motion. Second. And just comment, too, that this is uh, funding that we've received from uh, grants, correct? Correct. Correct. This is grant funding. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Town Board to authorize the supervisor to execute an engagement letter between the Town of Warsing and Burke Melee, Golden, and Naughton LLP for legal services in connection with the role of special counsel to the, to the town zoning board. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Town board to authorize the town clerk to advertise for one position on the board of assessment Maru to fill an unexpired term ending September 30th, 2025. Applications are due back at the town clerk's office by noon on May 19th, 2022. So moved. Second. Town Board to, op to approve an increase in pay for Patricia Cooper, <coughs> part-time field assessment worker from $17.50 per hour to $18.50 per hour. This increase is due to her successful completion of the required training course. This pay increase will be effective as of April 22nd, 2022. I'll make a motion. I'll second it. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. So, so moved. And we want to congratulate Pat Cook on passing her uh, test with flying colors. She's yes. doing a great job. Yep. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. She's really she's doing a great job. Town Board to approve an increase in pay for Lillian Le Case seasonal cleaner at Lemon Park from fourteen forty nine per hour to fifteen dollars per hour. This pay increase will be effective as of April thirtieth, twenty twenty two. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Town Board to accept a letter letter of resignation from April Miller, Senior Account Clerk in the Accounting Department. Her resignation is effective as of May 18th, 2022. So moved. Second. Unfortunately. Yeah. We will miss her. She's been a great employee and we wish her all the best. Town Board to approve the invoice number 238409 from Atlantic Testing Laboratories in the amount of $1,381.50 for the Worsing Water District. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Town Board to approve the payment of application number three in the amount of $244,525.24 to the Rutledge Excavation for the Worsing Water District Local Road Water Distribution Main Contract 2, WWD, BID, Nine. Bid number nine. I'll, I'll make the motion. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Town board to approve a payment application number two in the amount of three hundred and forty-four. I'm sorry, three hundred and forty thousand five hundred and fifty-five dollars and eighty cents to H. Osterhout Excavating for the Worsing Water District Local Road Water Distribution Main Contract Number Three, Worsing Bid Number Ten. I'll make it. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Town Board to approve a payment application number 11 in the amount of $25,717.44 to H. Osterhout Excavating Inc. for the Warsing Water District Route 209 Water Distribution Mains. Moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Town Board to authorize the supervisor to execute a change order number two, the Warsing Water District Water Treatment Plant and Wheel Wellfield contract number four, bid number WWD bid number six, Eventus Construction Company, Inc. to increase the contract by $2,682 for a cost associated with the furnishing and the installation of a 12 inch spool piece on a eight inch clear well emergency overflow pipe and a four inch clear well vet, vet pipe. This will result in a revised contract of $1,138,346,050. I'll make the motion. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Read again. No. Because <laughs> I read it, I still don't understand what all the vet pipe stuff was. But <laughs> Town Board to approve the hiring of various staff members for the Camp Shamonga Summer Program. This is per the recommendation of the Elmville Worth and Commission, Youth Commission. Uh, all hirings are pending passing a physical and a drug screening. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 
Town Board to approve hiring five seasonal workers for parks and cemeteries at a rate of $15 per hour. Hirings are based on passing the physical and the drug screen. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Town Board to authorize the town clerk to publish a legal ad for an early notice and public review of a proposed activity in a 100-year floodplain regarding the possible submission of a community development block grant application for the 2022 program year for the Kahunson Sewer San Sanitary Sewer Collection System Phase 2. I'll make it. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Town Board to authorize the Town Clerk to publish a legal ad for final notice and public explanation of the proposed activities in a 100-year floodplain regarding the possible submission of a Community Development Block Grant application for the 2022 program for the Kerhonkson Sanitary Sewer Collection System Phase 2. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Town Board to authorize the Supervisor to execute a bond council agreement between the Town of Warsing and Oric Harrington and Sutcliffe LLP for the purchase of a of trucks using the issuance of an eighty eight thousand dollars in series bonds using a loan program administered by the USDA. So moved. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Tony, you have anything? Tony's good. <laughs> well, number one, I, I want to thank the board. We have open house down the town barn three days in time. And I'd like to thank the board for showing up. I'm a little disappointed in some of the taxpayers. They don't want to show up to see what's going on. I'm really disappointed by that part. I, they should have showed up. But I really do want to thank the board for showing up. They helped out a lot. Thank you. Mike Machado, what you got? Oh, get quick tonight. Okay. Uh, just a reminder that we are still in a burn ban until uh, the 14th of May. Uh, the weather's getting warmer outside. Everybody wants to get together at barbecues and have some open pit fires. Just kind of hold off. We're still in the dry season, and we've done our we've had our share of uh, brush fires so far this year. Um, not going to touch too much on the highway department, as Tony said, but just again, Tony, to thank you also, not just the board. You were also a very big part of it. Um, jumping on to the building department, uh, we have been very busy. Uh, as of 422, there were 54 permits issued. Uh, there were 102 inspections and 19 um, CEOs given. Uh, folks, just want to let everyone know that in the busy season of the building department right now, building permits are taking a little while, a little longer to get than normal. Uh, please just be patient with us. It's a small office. Um, they're inundated with a lot of calls, a lot of permits, uh, filing, and so forth. Just be a little patient, and they will get to you. Uh, that's all I have for this evening. Okay, I just have one, actually two quick things. Uh, I want to thank um, the uh, transfer station uh, team, Mary, Sean, and Tommy for uh, the excellent work they did. This past Saturday, we had uh, approximately 150 residents take advantage of the spring fling cleanup at the tr uh, and the transfer station was part of that. And uh, between the three of them, Mary, Sean, and Tommy, they ran a, a really well-organized uh, with, with quite a, a crowd. I don't think anyone waited more than maybe 10 minutes. Uh, we saved the residents of the town during that time period around $2,500 with respect to things like couches, tires, sofas, etc. cetera. So uh, again, I wanna really uh, thank the folks uh, at the transfer station and also want to thank the folks publicly at the Ulster County uh, Resource Recovery because they uh, provided us an extra driver, they brought us a couple extra bins. So uh, with the very, very large amount of uh, trash, it, you know, it wasn't just the normal uh, garbage type things. It, again, it was things like tires and sofas and uh, things like that that the residents brought and uh, they kept a tally on what it would normally have cost and it was around twenty five hundred dollars So that went really well uh, The other final thing I just want to point out is uh, now that we've got our alternative <coughs> sentencing uh, program back up and running and, and George Bud is, is uh, Managing that we do have some folks that are going to start working in that environment so that uh, they're going to help Tony's folks with uh, 
pick up and, and clean up along the sides of the roads and also with things like mowing and, and other things that need to be done as well. So that'll be starting uh, next week where we'll have a couple extra folks to, uh, that'll be doing community service to, to help out. And that's all I've got. Bill? I also want to thank the uh, transfer station uh, people there for the job they did and also for Sam and her crew um, for the uh, spring fling at Lippman Park. It was a, a huge success. A lot of people uh, showed out and the weather uh, cooperated, thank God. Um, Mike uh, has um, cleaned the Kerhonkson pool that's ready to be painted and he was working at the Elmo pool yesterday doing some work on filters and stuff. So we're on schedule for opening the, the pools, providing we get the required staff that we need to uh, man them. What's that position we need? Pool director. We need a pool director and a certified pool operator. We're working at it. <coughs> Um, okay, Jackie, help me with the motion. Oh. I want to make a motion to have the women's softball um, league added as a rider to the town's recreation department's insurance coverage. Good job. Perfect. All right. <laughs> okay. I'll second it. All those in favor? Aye. 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 And, um, the county, uh, Terry and I have uh, been in contact with there regarding them sending uh, their people here. It's going to be June, um, September, and December. Um, they're going to send, I think, five different agencies here on the day, uh, one day when the buses for the um, DMV is going to be here, and we may be using the church next door there to uh to accommodate them um once we get the exact date i'm going to put some flyers out around and we'll put some over there for the food pantry people and send them around to different areas and they're also looking to uh, start manning the uh, trudy resnick farber thing there and getting that active again um, with uh, things for veterans and office of the aging and other uh, things so <coughs> moving forward and we're looking at a piece of uh, equipment for the um, that would accommodate wheelchairs um, uh, a swing for the uh, Lippman Park um, so hopefully we'll be able to uh, get one of those ordered and that's all I have okay. Cassie there's one other thing I forgot what Paul um, Wings and Wheels for Warriors is uh, on Armed Forces Day, which I believe is May 21st. Uh, that's the Saturday over at the airport. Nice. And that's for, uh, Bill reminded me because he was talking about the vets. That's to raise funds for uh, disabled American vets. So hopefully it'll be a nice day and we'll get a good turnout and uh, they'll raise a lot of money for uh, disabled vets. Um. First of all, I'd like to thank the board and everybody here at Town Hall that helped me this week as I struggle to be deputy supervisor in Terry's absence. It's a very big job. You're talking to the staff all the time. You're talking to the public all the time, and you're trying to balance it all out. And I couldn't have done it without every one of the people that work in this building. Um, I spent this afternoon with Sam, and we interviewed more people, more people for camp. Uh, counselor positions. Um, we have enough staff for the current list. We need about four more counselors if we want to take the people off the waiting list. We've got a dozen or so still on the waiting list. Um, if so, do you know anybody that wants to work for camp? We need four more counselors so that we can pull, we can, we can register everybody that's on the waiting list. Um, as I mentioned before, we're looking for a certified pool operator. It's a class that we would pay for you to take. Um, it's a, it's a, you take it online, you have to pass the test. It's a, it's a two day class from eight to 4.30, two, uh, two days in a row. And then your certification, if you get a 74, you pass and it's good for five years. Um, 
it's ideal if we have any EMTs in the district because um, it really dovetails into their their first aid. You would you you'd actually understand the first aid portion of certified pool responder and the chemical portion of it. So anybody out there that has one of those and wants to come work for the town, let me know. Um, and I'd like to take an opportunity to thank the Lions Club that was at the Spring Fling um, this past weekend. They donated a lovely bench. It still amazes me. The bench is in the lobby downstairs if, you, if the public would like to come in and take a look at it. It is made 100% of those thin, filmy bags that you put your vegetables in or you wrap your newspapers in. The ones you can never get open at the supermarket. That's what that bench is made out of. I believe it's called number four plastic and there isn't a whole lot of use for it. But they, if you collect 5,000 pounds of it, which I think is a lot of plastic, you can make a brown bench, which is in our lobby. And it's a really nice bench. Very nice. So I want to thank them. They And... Um, They'll be coming before the board because they have another great idea for us um, in the coming months. So I look forward to hearing from them. Um, we're having a, I'm sure that we'll talk about this again, but I did want to put it out there. Tax Grievance Day is Tuesday the 24th um, from 1 to, it's in the morning. Okay. I know the evening hours are 3 to 6 and in the morning, and then it's in the afternoon as well. Right, Jackie? Ah. I'll get you those. No, I'll get you those. But anyway, grievance day is the twenty fourth, and I know that in the there are evening hours. And if you're at work, you can do three to six. You can come before the board and grieve your property tax if you feel that you want to. It, it has a reason to be adjusted. At our next meeting, I'll have the times for you, though. I should have written that down. Um, we had a um, the IDA was here on Tuesday, and they public came out and expressed their approval and, cons and any concerns they had concerning the Cresco project, was, which is moving forward. Um, I want to thank the people that came out and spoke at that. Uh, it means a, a lot of jobs for us, and it, it was very clarifying for those people to understand that with this, even with the pilot, we'd end up getting more tax revenue from that piece of property than if it st stays empty. So that, for those who came out and um, in support of it, or even came out and voiced their concerns. We appreciate hearing all sides, and we thank you for doing that. And I'd like to entertain a motion to adjourn did, did the meeting. Any, did, one, did anybody get any feedback on the uh, Sam's Point this weekend? No. This weekend, the first uh, no, no, did not thing on the reservation. Yet. I didn't hear anything about no. reservations. No news. Is anything, news. Chris? Did you see anything different up there? No. no. I don't hear anything. Hmm. I'll make a motion. All right. Yeah. I need a. I'll second it. Thank you. All those in favor. Aye. 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 Good night.